Good morning, people. Got an S2000 shirt from Prime Driven. Gildan quality, soft quality. The max speed shirt I have for my friend Chelsea who prints shirts is a little bit better. Feels like pretty much like the Obsessed Garage shirts. Um, I love it. So I'm gonna keep going to her for some shirts. And uh, once I get some logos down and stuff, I'm gonna make my own. Cause I really, I'm not tired of it, but like I, I see a lot of companies like they'll sell these shirts and they put these really nice designs on them. And uh, the shirt itself costs like what, maybe five bucks or less to make or to, to have. And they just print the logo on it for a couple extra bucks. So let's just say at the max, the shirt cost $10 and I bought it for 25. Yeah, and I only bought it to enter the S2000 giveaway, by the way, I do not buy $25 t-shirts. That's just not me. Therefore, I would not sell, you know, 30, $35 t-shirts and what is it, $80 hoodies or whatever these guys sell. Not, not, not for me. I don't even know if I would sell hoodies because I don't wear hoodies out here. It's too hot in Florida for hoodies, except for the winter. Um, do wear them sometimes in the winter, in the morning or at night. But anyway, um, today we are working on the Miata. We have to do a, um, we have to do the cooling fan, which just came in, and uh, the little pigtail connector as well, because that kind of got fried. The plastic is stuck in it, and uh, yeah, hopefully after that we can take the Miata for a little drive, make sure everything's good, make sure the AC works, and both fans kick on when the AC turns on, and we should be golden. Alrighty, boys, here we go. So I ordered a fan, and in the checkout, um, I put I need the pigtail connector. So we got a fan from Treasure Coast Miata, pretty fair price, um, sixty-eight bucks. It was, I think it was like a hundred something dollars for the cooling fan everywhere else. So, and then on the bottom here, you can see I put, um, please add a pigtail connector. Oh shit. Where does this go? I don't even know where, where I'm supposed to put this. I guess I'm supposed to, uh, solder these or something into the, the wiring harness in there. But yeah, here we go. We have a uh, new fan. This thing is like super light. Um, well, it's not a new fan. It's a used fan. It's an OEM one. So this is this is what happened on mine. You see, this has like a little clip. So you take this off. Let's see if I could do this with one hand. Maybe not. All right. So we've got this beautiful cover. I just unlatched it from here, and then we're gonna do the mirror right here. Completely dry. So we got to pop the hood. Really easy to pop that. Check this bad boy out. Oh, fun fact. I thought this was rusting because it was bubbling up. The hoods are aluminum. So that's just uh, stripping paint basically. There's no rust under here. Isn't that great? I thought I had to replace my hood, but Chelsea told me I didn't have to because it's aluminum. By the way, shout out to Chelsea for that top, man. That, that top is it's doing its job. Is this fucking... No, oh, that might be old. All right, so let's... uh. Let's prop this bad boy up real quick. All right, so we have to pull out this fan. Uh, I wonder if this is the stock fan. Because this should be a stock fan. Wow, that's the OEM fan. Look at that. Same stickers and everything. That's cool. Sweet. So let's put that there. So what looks like we're going to have to do is probably remove the uh, intake hose just because... The fan will come out a lot easier if I do that. Um, so these wires are supposed to go in here somewhere for the pigtail connector I got. I have no idea what I'm doing with these wires, but I'll figure it out. Yeah, that's what this will work. Cool. So I got to go GoPro for my... Well, I have the GoPros already. Obviously, I use them in my videos, but I'm going to start using GoPros on my head because I feel like it's kind of hard to film some of this stuff and also focus on what I'm doing. Like I have to see like the camera angle so that I know you guys can see what I'm doing. So we're gonna take this off. This shit is rusty as hell. Maybe I'll comb through the car one day and like replace all the bolts and shit, but eventually you guys, we will be removing this stock air box as a, entirely. All right, so I believe this is the mass uh, airflow sensor. Yeah, it looks like it in there. Looks pretty clean. Um, so we can just kind of move that out of the way and when we need to. Um, so these are, Looks like a 10. And then these are pretty easy to break. They weren't even really on there that tight. I wonder if this was removed before. Because I know um, this is what happened to my connector, you'll see. So you see all that plastic in there? Yeah, that's not supposed to be like that. So half the plastic broke in there and the plastic like shattered. You can see there's literally plastic right here. Um, it shattered off the connector here. All right, not gonna lie guys. Um, I asked Chelsea what to do with these wires. 
and she said you're gonna have to solder them into the like OEM harness there. So I have no idea how to solder them. So I, I don't even know how to solder wires. So I'm gonna look up a tutorial on how to do it and I'll uh, get to it later because I'm gonna have to make a run real quick. But in the meantime, we will take this fan off because it looks like that connector is not obviously going to work considering this one has that one on the fan. So <laughs> literally just comes right out. <laughs> so let's uh, let's get some, um, what do you call it? Let's get some pliers and get these clips out. I forgot about that. All right, fun fact, I didn't have any uh, regular pliers. So I had these regular ones. I didn't have any needle nose ones. And I was trying to get the clip off that sits right in here. And all you gotta do is, you know, just pinch it. Probably fucked it up a little bit, but it's whatever. Um, so I just pulled the fan up and then kind of like grabbed it directly through. Cause you can like legit like move the fan. It's literally just two bolts. It's a pretty good design though. Now the question is, how do we get this one out? Ooh, so same out. deal with that one. You just pinch it, comes right out. And then look at that. We should be able to get this out. <laughs> two seconds, man, two seconds. All right, so there's the old fan. You can see they look pretty much identical. This one's probably, actually that one looks, the old one is a little bit cleaner. I might clean this up with some brake cleaner. Oh, you can see all this plastic shit. That's not good. I'm gonna get all this out of here. It'll go away when we drive, but just in case. All right, so I didn't want to uh, vlog it or anything and try not to take any photos. I didn't want to be weird, um, but I got to meet Matt Shulman. He's not gonna know who I am because I didn't give him my name. We didn't really talk. Uh, me and my friend Juan literally just they we saw them pushing Adam's uh, chaser So we helped them out and we put it in the, the storage unit. That was cool. Uh, I'll put a picture like somewhere here That was cool. I got to see the, the chaser. I got to see the trailer uh, It's pretty cool. It's kind of weird like watching, you know, I, you see Matt Shulman in the videos and stuff So it's weird seeing people like that you watch on TV or on YouTube or on the internet or whatever and then you see them in real life, it's like, oh my god, it's like they're a real person, you know, it's not just somebody I watch online. So it's pretty cool. But I didn't want to like fangirl hard or whatever. You know, I, I don't I don't want to like post up, yeah, you know, I met this guy, you know, it's not that's not me. Now if they if we took a picture or something and they're okay with posting it, sure. But I'm not gonna do it like without asking or anything like that. It's just kinda weird. Plus I know like if somebody came up to me with a camera, whether I'm now here at twenty five hundred subscribers or if I'm at 2.5 million subscribers, I would still feel super weird. Like, yo, what are you doing? You know, it's just not, we're not used to that. So I don't think anybody's used to it. Yo, yo, you, how, who are you? Oh my God, is that Max? Oh my God, yo, can I, can I get to take a picture with you? They're fucking like filming you in their face. Oh my God, look, I'm at Max Speed. Or I'm at Adam you know what I, it's like, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. So I didn't want to be like that, but that was a cool experience. They're, they seem like nice people in the brief, like two minutes that I got to speak to them. <laughs> All right, guys, it is the next day and uh, we have some stuff. So I actually had this in the garage. It's not mine, um, but I am borrowing it. I didn't know we had one of these. Otherwise, I would have got one from the store. Um, I was going to go get a gun for like 40 bucks and it came with the solder as well. So I know if you look up the Chris Fix tutorial, which is what I did, he makes it look so easy to solder wires. So we have our wire cutter, which is baking on the trunk here. Let's lock this back up. We have a wire cutter. We have our harness, which... It has two wires in here that we're going to splice. Can you see both? Uh, yeah, you can kind of see both in there. I'm going to splice those wires and then solder those. Um, we have the solder here, electrical solder. We have some heat shrink wrap and the uh, tool to heat it up. I don't even know what this is called, to be honest. I forgot. But yeah. Um, first time ever, I'm going to try to solder these things. So bear with me here. Okay, guys. First things first. Got to tie my hair because it's fucking hot today. It's like 90 something degrees. I can't wait to just take this thing for a drive. We're gonna go to Target later. I'm gonna find some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yes, I play Yu-Gi-Oh by the way. Uh, I get some Yu-Gi-Oh cards if they have the structure deck I'm looking for, and uh, pick up some Pizza Hut because fucking why not? Uh, I'm gonna tie my hair first and uh, let's get started. By the way, at some point this year, all of this is just it's it's going. And of course, before I forget, we're gonna do the. There's a battery on this thing. Is it in the trunk? Never owned one of these before, so still learning. I think it might be in the trunk. So the cool thing about this is the original owner left the uh, spare in here with the jack and everything. And I just disconnected the battery, as you can see. It's really tiny, so that thing's probably going to be really cheap to replace whenever it does need replacing. So got the battery disconnected. Um, probably not supposed to use these, but uh, like I said, first time for everything. So I'm going to just gently cut the rubber here 
and then get the wires exposed and then I'll strip the wires and we'll go from there. Guys, I know there are some YouTubers. Let me just uh, set this down over here. I know there's some guys on here that would probably be like, yeah, look at my, look at my soldering job. I didn't do this. Um, to be honest, I kind of gave up. I was having problems cutting the wire. I was trying to get like a perfect job, but this is uh, what we're gonna get. We're gonna put the heat shrink over this, use the lighter to heat it up, shrink it. I, like I said, I had somebody else do this because I was getting really frustrated. Next time I know what I'm doing for sure now, so I'll, I think I'll be good and need a little. Also, this thing is kind of old too, so I didn't really. I was gonna get a gun, but I mean, I already had this in the house. Didn't want to spend an extra 40 bucks. It's supposed to be a budget Miata, so. Um, budget Miata, but we're not gonna do anything, you know, eBay cheap or whatever. But anyway, here it is. Uh, so we have the new connector on, soldered in. We're gonna put the heat shrink wrap. Sorry I didn't show the process, like I said, I wasn't doing it, so. <laughs> I feel like I feel like kind of a bitch for doing that, but whatever. Um, so put the fan in after this, and hopefully it should work. Now we'll know it works if we turn the AC on, and then both fans kick on. If only the AC fan kicks on, and not the cooling fan, then something's up. All right. So you probably can't notice on camera unless I show you real close, but this is all electrical taped. Um, came out pretty decently. So for now, let's uh, get the fan in, seated properly and shit, and uh, let's wire up these. Let's wire up these wires. Let's move this. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this with two hands. <laughs> One sec. All right, so the fan drops in pretty nicely. Um, I'm just gonna put this on tight, and I believe this is a 10 mil, if I'm not mistaken. There we go, that's pretty good. And now, well, actually, I think this connector might be a little long. Yeah, the connector is actually really long. Wow. Alrighty then. Oh, look, the clip actually came on the fan. Look, never mind. I don't need that. I don't know where I put it, but I don't need it. So this will... I might have to zip tie this somewhere here. Because what's going to happen is we're going to clip this in. Uh, well, this is supposed to go somewhere. I don't know where this... Oh, this goes in here. So this goes right here, you push that through, and then you clip this in, of course. And that should click. Here we go. So, the only thing I don't like is like these wires here. Let's run it that way. We'll put this in here, and we'll clip this through. And then we will, I'm gonna do this with two hands, so I need two hands for this. And basically I'm gonna zip tie this somewhere here so it doesn't move around. I guess I might have closed the hood on the clamp because I had bent the clamp a little bit. So I bent it back into place. Um, so now all we do is just tighten up the clamp. All right, guys. Uh, here we go. We're going to start the car and make sure the AC is off. We're going to have to do um, turn the AC on and make sure both fans kick on. So start with the AC off first. Make sure the car starts because I did just put the battery back. Oh, we have power. Starts up every time. All right, so here's the question. Fans on. Let's check it. Yes, yes, the cooling fan is on. And the other fan is on, very nice. Very good, dude, yes, all right. I figured out why the AC was blowing warm. The uh, fans weren't working, so the car would get hot. That's freaking awesome. I thought there was like a leak or something. This is good. This this is a good a good start to the Miata. I'm excited, man. All right, so next step, this has distilled water in it. I don't like using distilled water. We're gonna go ahead tomorrow morning. I'll make it a different video. This video is getting kind of long. Coolant flush tomorrow, or technically distilled water flush, so we'll drain all that out. We'll put coolant in, burp the system, make sure there's no air, and we'll be good. We'll have coolant in there, we'll have the cooling fan working properly and everything. We'll be good. I think I'm still going to take this out for a drive tonight, um, and probably... I can't put the top down either right now, hence why I have the, the, the cover on. The guy was like, yeah, if you put the top down, be prepared for it to disintegrate and not go back up. So I was like, alright. Let's not do that. So I'm waiting for my soft top 
uh, Moss Miata was supposed to ship it out a while ago. It's still not here, so I'm wondering what's going on with that. So, it's fucking flies, bro. Uh, I'm going to catch you guys later because I'm letting a lot of flies in the car. See you later. Thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, leave a like. If you guys want to see more Miata content and more Civic content as well, be sure to subscribe down below. You guys can follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to keep up in life at max speed. Thanks for watching. Peace.